relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in the choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bright Text here with another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to clip inside GeForce Now. So this is a very widely asked question in my comment section. And I see it all the time on how to clip on GeForce Now, how to just clip in general, and more questions just like that. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so to begin, clipping is pretty simple for GeForce Now players, but if you play on regular Fortnite without GeForce Now, which GeForce Now is a whole different subject, so I can explain that in another video, or you guys can go to my GeForce Now videos. But mainly, clipping in GeForce Now is really, really simple. All you have to do is launch a GeForce Now game and hit on Command or Control if you're on a PC, G. And that will bring up your GeForce Now options, menu, whatever you want to call it. And you can see your microphone over here, your recording, and then your instant replay and stuff like that. So I'm going to turn on my instant replay by hitting Command Shift R. And now instant replay is on. But pretty much you want to go to settings and go to highlights. And then it'll say capture highlights. You turn this on or off. And in my opinion, this one used to be good for me, but the thing is, you can see when you get eliminated and uh, you can check off if it's elimination, double elimination, anything like that. I used to have it um, only for these ones, not eliminated, but um, you can keep it on for all if you would like to. But mainly, I'd keep it on for just these, but sometimes it wouldn't capture my clips, actually, it wouldn't actually automatically capture them. For some reason, I have no idea why. That's why I switched to Instant Replay, which is way more reliable, and this is just manual clipping. So the way this works is you have to go to Video Capture, and then it says Instant Replay. You want to turn this on, and I like to have mine set to 20 seconds, which is the least, So because it only takes 20 seconds per clip. So once you're inside of there, what you're going to see is that if I hit it once again, Instant Replay is going to show up here. So what I recommend doing is going to settings, then recommend going to shortcut controls and changing these to your liking. So recording, I like to command on command R, command shift R to turn uh, replay off. And to save my replays, which is to save clips, I like to leave it at command S, which is really, it's, it's a good one to keep it as. Um, for me, uh, I might change mine in the future. But now, from now on, if I ever want to save a clip, and the way you can tell if your clipping is on, is you can just see over here in the corner uh, that it's on right here with the microphone and stuff. So I'm just going to take like a, a lever shotgun, and what I'm going to do is also something, last thing you want to worry about, is going to your settings, go to files and disk space, and you want to make sure you have your gallery location, not your temporary files location, your gallery location, set to a file that you can get to very very easily so you have to turn off highlights and uh, you have to turn off highlights and replay mode in order for you to change the files and disk space so I turn this to replay off using my shortcut and then you can go to gallery location and you can change it from there something I realized is that you can't you can't save it to a uh, you can't save it to a hard drive so I'm just gonna hit on GeForce now back and then yes and then we should be good here so let me just go back and forth and now anytime we save a clip so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn instant replay back on and I'm going to just hit command s which will save my last clip and you can see it over here it's three seconds long then you can see this is just a temporary file I believe and then over here we have our three second clip so from there we can just completely delete it or do whatever we want and you can also clip very very easily so I'm just going to Go like this. I'm gonna. Um, I'll just go through doing some stuff like this. Uh, since I'm recording right now, usually I record with GeForce Now, but uh, I can't right now since uh, since I'm trying to show a tutorial of it. So it feels a little bit weird to uh, record with this. It feels like I have a little bit of input delay when I record uh, with this recorder instead of GeForce Now. But um, say if I wanted to clip that, I hit on Command S, or I just hit Command G and hit on this. And remember, instead of using command, you can use uh, control if you're on a PC. And as you can see, you can hear myself. Uh, I can hear myself, and it's 20 seconds, which is really, really cool. And say if I want to delete this now, I double click, hit on the trash, hit on remove, and then we're good. So other than that, that's pretty much it for the video on how to clip with GeForce Now. It's super, super simple, and uh, I really recommend you guys doing it because it really, really helps learn how to clip, and you can use it for montages or whatever you want to learn it for. 
And other than that, it's pretty much it for the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.